I am so happy to be filming today because I haven't filmed a vlog in like a month. The last vlog I filmed for you guys, I got my wisdom teeth out the week after. And in the week after, I couldn't do anything because I was still in pain. And then the week after that, I was pretty down energetically. And then last week, I got my period. Energetically, I couldn't really film my typical vlogs. That's why last week's video was just like a simple makeup routine video because I didn't tell y'all, but my body was hurting. Anyways, we're gonna be curling my hair. We're gonna use this curling wand from T3. They have the best hair tools ever. Other than that, I just woke up and I meditated. I had a breakfast already. Meditating in the morning is really helpful so that I can stay grounded. I only meditated for 10 minutes, but it's good to start your day knowing what your day will consist of and being intentional. So when I wake up, I like to just think, okay, what am I gonna focus on today? How am I feeling today? What are some emotions going through me today? I like to be very present with my body. So if I'm feeling any sort of negative, Negative emotion. I usually like to be very aware of it so that I can ease myself in the morning so that I don't carry that energy throughout the day. This is the Mixoon Galactamese Toner. And then I like using this Snail Rescue Moisturizing Cream from Peach Slices. Today is actually going to be a really relaxing and chill day. The only thing I really have planned is going to the gym. Besides the gym, I have a meeting at 4pm and I'm really excited about that meeting. This curling iron is a little bit smaller than my regular, so the curls might look very tight. It is whatever. I like to like shake it so that it gets less hot. Ow! Why did I just do that? <laughs> so it's like combed out now. So now you want to make sure you bunch the curls together. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. These curls are a little too tight. This hair... It's looking a little funny. Anyways, you just want to use some hairspray to put down any flyaways because the best part about this hair is that it's supposed to look smooth. Hair's not hitting. This is the best we're gonna do. What if I wear glasses, guys? Let me turn off this light. Hello! <laughs> So I just got ready. You guys cannot tell me I do not look good. I am all ready for my day. I'm not gonna be wearing these glasses anywhere, but like they're so cute. So I just thought, you know, for the video. All right, guys, here is an OOTD. Sports bra is from Young LA. I'm wearing these low rise, like wide leg pants. They're from Urban Outfitters. They are so comfortable. They fit so good. Literally the most perfect sweatpants I've ever found. I mean, look at it. It's low rise. These are so cute. Before I go though, I really want to show you guys my mom's chickens my mom has 12 chickens they are so cute so you guys have to see it okay because if you guys really watch my channel you guys will know i have so many pets i've got three dogs i have two cats but one of my cats actually just had babies missouri had babies okay because we have a boy and a girl cat and they made babies but the thing is we thought those two were girls this entire time until one of them turned up pregnant both my cats made babies and they had four babies and so now we have six cats six cats three dogs three parrots 12 chickens as you guys can tell, my family loves animals. We are in the car right now. I want to show you guys my new glasses. Boom. Yeah, Sandy got some Oakleys. Ooh. I'm starting my running era, but I did go running right before I got my wisdom teeth out because that's when I got these glasses. I got these and then I was bedridden for like a month, but I'm back and we are going to start this running era. Story time, I actually got robbed. I sound like I'm doing one of those story times. I get so many views on YouTube. My car got broken into. They broke my window. I recently had to get my window replaced. They went in my car and they stole my AirPods. Thankfully, I have two. I am one less now, mother I'll insert a photo here. Okay, this is how we look like when I found it. It happened at night. We're gonna go to the gym. I look so cute. And also, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. So yeah, let's go and work out. <laughs> dead ah, my legs are literally shaking guys success
Hello, dear friends. I am back home. <laughs> okay, so I am having a cute little snack. We're gonna have this. What is this called again? Is it called a dragon fruit? <laughs> Bitch, I have no idea. Okay, I don't know. But um, this is how it looks like. It looks so good, okay? Let's have a bite. I actually, when I was grabbing this at the Asian grocery store, I was like about to grab this. And then the girl behind me, she goes, oh, Sandy? And she was actually a subscriber. That was amazing. Yeah, I'm looking at my bicep. <laughs> mm. Anyways, very good workout. I was sweating my ass off. My legs are shaking still. They're sore. I'm gonna finish eating this and then we're gonna hop on that car. This is what I'm having for breakfast today. When I tell you guys, this is all I've been eating for like the past two weeks. So this is a salad mix. I just get like a salad mix from Target, but any grocery store has like salad mix. It doesn't matter which one, just get any type of greens you like. And then put in a chicken sausage. This chicken sausage is my favorite. It is the apple and gouda from Target. 16 grams of protein, really good. It's delicious, okay? I eat these sausages like once a day, every day, but the salad the dressing I'm using is the avocado lime ranch or something. It's from Chick-fil-A. They sell it at Target and stuff. It is so good. I'm telling you guys, this is the best salad dressing you guys will ever try. Like, this tastes heavenly, okay? Bon appetit. Okay, hey besties. So, we're gonna get ready for our day. By the way, my pajamas, this is from Amazon, okay? I have a link down below in my storefront. But before we get ready, I love using candles, okay? This is the Wildflowers candle from Homesick. They actually sent this to me. It smells like Skittles, but they also sent me another one that literally says Minnesota. And if you guys know, that's where I'm from. I just thought that was so cute. If you light your candle and really set an intention for your day, I'm telling you these candles can help. I love lighting them and then being like the intention for today is to be productive my intention for today is to be calm honestly just setting intention in general is so important so that your days are very meaningful if you're not gonna wake up and do meditation that's okay just set a candle and set an intention this works wonders anyways guys i have decided that i am going to be entering my superstar era so if y'all see me come out with a song don't be surprised <laughs> collection says a lot about you so everyone has their own fascination with books but mine personally is definitely self-help spirituality books honestly it's probably more spirituality than it is anything else i love looking at everything from a more spiritual perspective i do everything from a spiritual perspective so it's like if i'm gonna go and chase my dream it's not because i want a big house or if i want a lot of money or to make other people think i'm cool it's so that i can fulfill my life purpose does that make sense? So I have been so in love with learning more about spirituality and learning more about souls, energy, things like that. I'm not very religious. I'm more fascinated with energy and I literally could go on and on and on about spirituality for literally hours. Like if you want to have a conversation with me about that stuff, I love it. I feel like I've really learned who I am more and more as I got into spirituality, which is probably why my YouTube channel's energy has been very different. It's because I understand who I am more now. Like it's really helped me discover my own personal energy anyways these are three books that i bought recently i actually bought four recently and one of them is with shaw right now i'm very big into spiritual books and right now my fascination lies with lives past lives soul where your soul leaves when you leave earth how many lives we've had before this lifetime but right now i'm reading journey of souls by michael newton this book is so good i am halfway this book is kind of 
kind of describing how it's like when your soul leaves your body when you die and then where it goes it's so interesting so the guy who wrote this book is actually like a hypnotist he works with people in past life like age regression he can hypnotize you to talk about your past lives literally think about that it's it's odd okay you just have to read it but hypnotists can actually talk to you and get you to remember lives you had before this life but on top of that he can also make you like talk about where your soul was even in like the spirit realm okay in heaven or whatever you guys want to call it the realm of angels okay it's just so interesting i used to hate reading okay you couldn't get me to read a word back in high school oh my god i could not read a damn book but now i have my own book collection guys like it's so interesting how i have grown into the adult that likes to read like what even what who have i become the other book i have is by alan watts it's the taboo against knowing who you are i actually don't like this book at all um i just wanted to show you guys it but i bought this and it's probably gonna be about like how it's taboo in society to be very spiritual and understanding yourself and fulfilling life purpose because a lot of people will judge you when you do something very authentic and it's because being authentic is an energy that not most people are brave enough to follow and so most people will judge you but it's all projection at the end of the day but i'll tell you right now if you live a life where you're fulfilling your purpose you will be very happy your life will just be filled with a lot of joy okay but if you live a life where you're not authentic you're just gonna be bored and unhappy and if you want to live that life that's fine but this book the words are way too too outdated for me like this book was made in 1966 so i also got this book archetypal universe this is more about astrology understanding the signs from the universe dreams thoughts culture emotion whatever so this is by ren butler i'm so excited to read this book whenever i'm ready i know this is gonna be a long read though because the font is so tiny there's a lot of words but i think that if you really want to understand like how the planets sit and astrology in general like this is probably the book for you personally i I love talking about astrology and stuff but it is just not for everyone does that make sense but i'm fascinated with the topic in general so i got this book anyways but there's another book i've been reading as you guys can tell this is the tao te ching book it's actually a modern version but this is basically the manual the scripture bible the handwritten scripts for taoism and taoism is partly a religion in china but also seen as a philosophy in the western cultures so so I follow Taoism, but I follow it more so as a philosophy. When you get into it, you realize it's more of like a practice. It's a way of life. And it's just, uh, it's so interesting. Like recently, I've been so fascinated with understanding different cultures, different religions. For sure, Taoism is one of the most fascinating concepts I've ever read in my life. Basically, Taoism is like understanding the concept of not doing anything. And in return, you get everything. Does that make sense? Okay. It doesn't make sense. So I full-heartedly live by the energy of not being forceful for anything that I want in my life. I kind of like like to meditate and get very in tune with my own energy. And you'll notice that when you're very in tune and compassionate towards yourself, everything you want will naturally just happen for you where you'll just have inclinations to be like, you know, I should go to the gym. I should go and be productive. It's not from a place of I need to do that because that's going to get me where I need to be. It's kind of like a letting your intuition tell you what to do that then is no longer forceful energy And it's just you naturally doing things because you are aligned. Does it make sense? That's why I always tell you guys if you guys don't want to go to the gym don't go Okay, go when you feel like your intuition tells you to never go because of An outcome based type of thing like I'm not gonna go and work because I need money It's just I don't I don't work like that like I work because my heart wants to does it make sense? Okay like this book taught me that concept it's just so interesting but this is not like the original script it's like a more modern version but if you read all of them and then go on tiktok and like understand the sections because they're in sections okay if you hear other people explain the sections it makes a lot more sense and then you have like your own little book club by yourself as you guys can tell i'm like so excited this vlog is gonna be so long but yeah these are my books that i got recently and i will update you guys in like a month probably and then i'll let you guys know how i feel about other books that i might buy who would have thought i'd be a book girly here's the ootd for today i'm wearing my skims yoga pants these are literally the best yoga pants i've ever worn so comfy the fit is 
adorable. It is the most perfect gray ever. I love it. I'm wearing my pink Lululemon Define jacket. I think this is like a newer color. I love it. It's so cute. And this is like the BBL jacket, okay, from TikTok. This is gonna give you like the illusion of a fat ass because it's very waist cinching. I'm wearing my Young LA sports bra. Same one as yesterday. Just a different color. And then my Gymshark bag, which it's open right now, but I put bows on it and a little charm. Anyways, I look so cute. And then after this, we're gonna go and get our nails done as you can tell they are very overgrown my nails grow so fast but the last design was so cute but it is time to get something new and fresh welcome to my reveal okay i just went to the gas station we're gonna try this elani energy drink this one is in dream flow i've never had it before so reveal we're doing a review everyone this one looks so cute though see this oranges ice cream cone this looks delicious I ran out of my little minis, so I just went to the gas station. Mmm! Oh my god, it smells delicious. Oh my god! That is the best energy drink I've ever had in my whole life. It tastes like an orange creamsicle. Literally, it's so good. How does this taste exactly like ice cream? I literally can taste the vanilla ice cream in this and the orange. Oh my god, heavenly scent. Okay, Elani, Elani, listen, Linda. I need you to send me this, okay? Wednesday, which means it's either a yoga or Pilates day. As you guys know, I have a full workout routine, full week of workouts, so I'll have that link down below. Anyways, I am using the Kristen S. Brunette Dry Shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo ever. I'm just gonna put my hair in two braids. I like to just do my braids like this, where I start from here instead of going from up here down like a French braid or something but like i'm just not very good at braiding my hair and then i'm just gonna do a very quick makeup look <laughs> in case you guys are curious this is my outfit this is a onesie from aritzia and it makes my body look so cute okay i love it and then i'm wearing these sleeves i actually got this from yes style leg warmers and my pilates socks okay so this is my outfit and you know, I really do want to wear the glasses But I gotta head out soon. So let me show you guys my perfume So you guys know I love my clean classic warm cotton. You guys can get this at Ulta It just gives me such a fresh smell and then this is my new perfume. This is from Chanel This one is the one in tender this is the purple one and it smells so good. Here's a more in-depth video of my outfit. Y'all cannot lie, my outfit looks so cute. I really truly do have such great taste. Like, what can I say? Guys, can you guys tell that I'm only five feet? You guys know I'm the same height as Sabrina Carpenter?
home so let me show you guys some products that one size just sent me so they sent me their secure the blur primer slay they sent me their cheek clapper this one is in girly pop Ooh, she is gorgeous i got this lip snatcher it has like two sides cute i have a lip filler pencil oh wow it's dark i have their setting spray i have never used this before but i heard it is really good and waterproof and then i got their translucent powder which i already use yay thank you one size for sending me that this second day hair is not cute but i removed my makeup and then i'm gonna put some more makeup on because i'm gonna go take some pictures with my personal assistant yes i have a personal assistant now yay she helps me go and create content for like instagram and stuff so it's just amazing having her okay guys i'm ready to go take some pictures today we're wearing this top from fashion nova these shorts i actually thrifted them and they're literally the most perfect shorts literally low rise like i couldn't ask for a more perfect short okay follow my instagram at sandy diana bang so that you guys can see all my outfit pictures because i take pictures quite often <music> package from garage i hope you guys are enjoying today's vlog oh, look how cute this is it's a corset but it's white and like soft blues this is so cute Ooh, a cute off the shoulder little crew neck looking thing oh it's a cute shirt that's adorable wide leg sweatpants Oh, oh my god, look at this. It's a cute top. Thank you, Garage, for sending me all of these goodies. Anyways, guys, what a great day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. This vlog was definitely a little bit more chill, I'd say. My days are kind of chill anyways. I'm going to end the video here so I can go ahead and edit this vlog. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Mwah.